criticisms that you've received is that, well, okay, fine, you want to move to California, you want to step back from the institutional role, why be so public? You say you tried to do this privately. And every single time I've tried to do it privately, there have been briefings and leakings and planting of stories against me and my wife. You know, the family motto is never complain, never explain, but it's just a motto. And it doesn't really hold. There's a lot of complaining and a lot of explaining. And private being done in through leaks. Through leaks. They will feed or have a conversation with the correspondent. And that correspondent will literally be spoon fed information and write the story. And then the bottom of it, they will say that they've reached out to Buckingham Palace for comment. Mm. But the whole story is Buckingham Palace commenting. So when we're being told for the last six years, we can't put a statement out to protect you, but you do it for other members of the family, there becomes a point when silence is betrayal. All right, Mark, what do you got? So there are a good handful of territorial snorts through this, the (laughs) exhale of air pushing people out of the territory. We've also got a challenge there. Up comes the chin and anger, aggression, bitterness in the mouth around the idea of betrayal. So we've got somebody who's truly being aggressive. They want to put out a challenge around this and they feel betrayed. The question is, is this about the revenge that goes with that betrayal? Chase, what do you got? Yeah. Harry has a tell, but probably not after this video, maybe if he sees it. In every video that we're seeing, something where there's a high likelihood of deception, we see a few things here in order. There's a lack of detail. There's a down in the left eye movement. This is how we research or think about internal dialogue, what we're going to say. There's mouth covering with facial contact here and a single shoulder shrug all at one time. And the title, I think, of their Netflix special might be complain and explain because that's all i've seen so far the biggest mistake they make is in trying to appear perfect as a couple and cast blame on everybody else from i think from a viewpoint and behavior perspective this is what we saw with amber heard accuse them of what you're doing pretend to be perfect admit no fault and over dramatize the story So he's very nervous about one point here, especially, and that's when he's talking about the media. And this is possibly because he and his spouse have probably done the exact same thing. We know that they've already hired photographers for some of the stuff that we've seen. Greg? Yeah, I'm going to start at the back end and come back. What I see here is a guy who is angry with his family because he believes they're in bed with the media and he believes the media killed his mother and he believes they're out to get him and his family. Now, whether that's true or not, it's another story, but let's walk through the mechanics of it. When he begins, he says, against me and my wife, he does an intake breath, unlike the snort, but I love those snorts, Mark. And then he does a chin jet. We associate that chin jet with anger or indignation when you hold it up longer. Then when Anderson Cooper validates his point of view with complaining and explaining, he chin jets again and then raises his chin After showing his lower teeth, that tells me he's indignant and he believes whatever he's saying is true. And then as he gets to that last part, there's the Trump sniff, that kind of thing that Trump does to keep track of where he's at. And he shows some disdain, pulling the sides of his mouth back and even a bit of disgust as he as he wrinkles his nose. He does some lip compression as well right there at the end. And I think he's withholding information about something, whether it's who, whether it's emotion or what. When he says there is silence is betrayal, when he says that, he shows that disdain smile again. I think that all sums up and says what he believes. Scott, what do you got? All right, let's keep in mind, uh, let's compare his baseline from what we know from the other episodes we've done to this baseline. When he's by himself, his body language is completely different than when he's, when he's with Megan. Now, what we're seeing here is he's much calmer. I think this guy has a cold or something because the sniffs we're hearing, we hear him during the questioning as well. So when we pay attention to that. The, for me, the, the sniffs mean nothing. They, they drop right out because I think he's got a cold and he's, he's sniffing for that. But... Um, Compared to his baseline, that's what we're seeing now. As well, we're not seeing as much movement as we usually see with him. We are seeing the illustrators, the things where he's um, emphasizing specific words and phrases, but he's keeping his hands and his arms closer to his body. They do go out some, but they're not as big. They don't go out as far. The eyewitness is you. One of the criticisms that you've received is that, well, okay, fine, you want to move to California, you want to step back from the institutional role. Why be so public? You say you try to do this privately. And every single time I've tried to do it privately, there have been briefings and leakings and planting of stories against me and my wife. 
you know, the family motto is never complain, never explain, but it's just a motto. And it doesn't really hold. There's a lot of complaining and a lot of explaining. And private being done in through leaks. Through leaks. They will feed or have a conversation with the correspondent. And that correspondent will literally be spoon fed information and write the story. And then the bottom of it, they will say that they've reached out to Buckingham Palace for comment. Mm. But the whole story is Buckingham Palace commenting. So when we're being told for the last six years, we can't put a statement out to protect you, but you do it for other members of the family, there becomes a point when silence is betrayal. Now, when the rest of the interview comes out, we'll do an analysis of the complete interview. There may be two of them, from what I understand. So we'll get in and tell you exactly what we see, and exactly what we think about what we're seeing, about what's happening in, their, in his body language. So what do you got?